Whether you realize it or whether you don't, your ex is actually the one that's blocking you from calling in your husband. And I can prove it to you. Hear me out all the way to the end and if I'm lying, call me a liar in the comments. Now how can I make such a bold statement without knowing anything about you? It's because I know about neuroscience. Your self-concept actually determines whether you're calling in the love of your life or not. Your self-concept is literally a compilation of all the stories that you have self-imposed onto yourself from when your ex, your previous ex before that, and your previous ex before that, and your previous ex before that let you down. So when love doesn't work out for us, what humans do is we self-impose stories as to why something happened. And because love is attached to very potent emotional things, Although we're no longer being chased by dinosaurs, the thing is is that your brain is designed to protect you. And when you start to feel all the feelings of unworthiness, potentially not good enough from the times that you gave your whole heart to someone, but it just wasn't good enough. When people are showing up, but they're not choosing you, wanting you, adoring you, giving you the queen treatment, we start to doubt ourselves as humans. We start to search for errors as to why this thing here is happening. And by human nature, when we don't see a defect within the object of our desire is what I'll call it, the brain starts to look at us as the reason. See, humans are story-making machines. We make up stories all day, every day, throughout the day since the time we were born. It's a primitive thing that allows us to stay safe and protected. The brain's primary job is to protect the baseline story of what you know to be true. Humans are also made up of stories. So when it comes to the stories, half of our stories you can just pretend are good, half of them are not good. And the stories we have in our subconscious mind dictate the quality of our life and the experiences that are drawn to us. So when we have relationships with men that let us down, that don't fully commit to us, that maybe lie or cheat, or in general, we're just attracting men that aren't doing the most, loving us the most, and giving us the type of treatment that we want, we start to create stories. The good stories from the good men are not a problem. It's the bad stories or the way that we perceive the story that can sometimes screw us up. The stories that you have internalized about your ex and your previous ex and your previous ex are the reasons you don't have love right now. So the reason your husband's not able to come in is because you haven't actually dealt with the stories that you have created from when your past exes have let you down. And those stories are disempowering and they're the stark opposite of what you actually want to experience. To give you an example, you could have had situationships in the past. And when you had a situationship, your brain potentially came up with a story so automatically, so matter of factly, you didn't even realize that you were doing it. That said, maybe the love I want is not available. Maybe that I'm not good enough. Maybe that I gave my whole heart to a situation and I still got disappointed. But what I want is not possible. That if what I was offering was good enough, well, then I'd already be attracting the dream man. I'm not. So it must mean that I'm not. Whatever your story is. And once again, I want to hear your story in the comments. So now what you're going to do is because your brain knows that to be true because it had physical evidence of it, you're going to now attract evidence of more people to give you situationships, of more people to not choose you, of more people to not prioritize you, of more people to show you that the type of love you want is not available and that you can't have it. Easy mistake to make, even easier one to fix. See, there actually is no such thing as a good or bad story. It's the way our brain perceives an event. Give you an example. There could have been two identical people that had their high school sweetheart break up with them. One of them internalized it in a way where they said, I'm not good enough. I'm not worth it. The love I want is not available. And she's going to go off to have a very different trajectory of love life in an unfavorable direction because of how her brain perceived what someone else's defect meant about her. And then there is the other person and the other person got broken up with with their high school sweetheart, but they decided that, you know what, it just is what it is. It doesn't mean anything about me. It doesn't mean that I'm not worthy. It doesn't mean that I'm not good enough. It doesn't mean that the type of love I want is not available. And she empowers herself. She doesn't use the lack from the person to disempower herself, to speak ill of herself or to self-loathe. She understands that some people just aren't compatible with other people. And she goes forward empowering herself and she will attract a very different trajectory of love partners due to this. For a temporary time frame, I'm giving you my exact manifestation equation, $1,000 off in my Elevate program. 
I'm going to teach you how to be the woman that's loved, adored, pampered, chosen, and given the best treatment. I'm going to teach you how to be the woman that men show up for, see your value, see your worth, and show up accordingly. So many people are getting engaged, attracting in their husbands, and getting married. These are just some of the examples of what is possible when you come into this program with an open mind and open heart and willing to do the work. Do not come to me or even follow my page if you're not interested in doing the work. Not only can I not help you, but no one can. My job and my mission is to show you that you have the power within you to create the love story that you've always desired. And that if you haven't achieved it by now, it's not because there's some defect within you or that it's not possible or God hates you or the universe, it just isn't meant for you. It's because you have subconscious reprogramming to do. It's because you have belief issues to work on. It's because you have nervous system reprogramming from when life let you down, from when love let you down. And until we shift who you're being and how you're showing up in your romantic life, your love life is going to look the same year after year. Take it from someone who knows. I have kept myself stuck for years in endless patterns before I learned how to do this work. And now I teach it to thousands of other women. If you're interested, the strategy call is in the link in my bio.